like to show you our new enclosures here at Appalachian Bear Rescue. We have two brand new enclosures. Uh, the entire area is over one acre with both interior enclosures being a little over a half acre. There's a 15 foot safety corridor all around the enclosures. So come with me and we'll take a look at it. entrance to our area to the cub house and the acclimation pen. In a previous video we've shown you our cub house. We want to show you the acclimation pen and the actual wild enclosure today. You'll notice that the acclimation pen is covered with a black material. This presents a uh, uh, prevents the cubs from seeing us as the curators as we approach. Inside the acclimation pen, there's a little natural looking jungle gym area for the cubs to play, a den for them. Also, the slanted floor makes it much easier for cleaning uh, and quicker cleaning for us. This new design also allows uh, us to have cubs exit from the cub house to the acclimation pen and out to the wild enclosure without us having to actually physically handle the cubs. When we release them into the wild enclosure, this gate right here, we would raise the gate and the cubs would exit into the wild enclosure. So I'm going to take you there now as though we were a cub going out into the wild enclosure for the first time. This is our wild enclosure. You'll see that it looks very much like the natural habitat that our, our bears will be returning to. There are lots of features here in the wild enclosure, lots of trees for them to climb. That's a very important skill that our young cubs need to learn. We also have uh, some oak trees already started here in the wild enclosure, and those trees in a few years will begin to produce acorns, which are very important. Also around the perimeter of the enclosure is an electric fence. That is to keep our bears in and also to keep wild bears out. We tried to think of everything possible, think like a bear, any way that they could try to escape and try to think of all of those things and make sure that it is safe and that the bears will be enclosed. The black material that is around the enclosure is a slick material that prevents the bears from being able to climb. We also have an observation tower in the center. One observation tower allows us to see both enclosures at the same time. This allows the curators to be able to observe the cubs uh, with uh, minimal chance of them being able to see us. The enclosure is equipped with a little swimming pool for the cubs and drinking tub. And we also have several natural looking dens that we'll take a look at. This is one of the natural dens. We have some vertical dens as well. These are available to the cub. We've tried to make them look as natural as possible. Cubs, even though they may not be actually denning, 
in these dens this summer. They seem to enjoy playing on them. It, it's a source of entertainment for them. You'll also notice that 15 feet inside the perimeter of the enclosure, we have trees that are wrapped, and that is to prevent uh, also the cubs from being able to uh, get out of the enclosure. The way that we feed the cubs is from the outside of the enclosure in the safety corridor, we'll bring the food and we actually literally throw it over the fence and scatter it in here in the enclosure. That serves several purposes. It helps the cubs learn to forage and develop those skills of looking for their food on the ground and having to find it. It also prevents the cubs from seeing us as the source of their food. I just want to briefly show you a little bit of the safety corridor and the perimeter that goes around the main enclosure. Right now we're walking by the cub house and the acclimation pen. You can see that the outside of the enclosure is completely covered, which presents prevents the cubs from seeing the curators. When we throw food, we'll throw over this outer fence. And we do that from various places along the fence at each feeding. We never throw from the same place. This safety corridor goes all the way around the main enclosure. Hope you've enjoyed your tour of our wild enclosure. Thank you for supporting Appalachian Bear Rescue.